Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we go out a lot of times camping and uh, we take the camper, but there's a lot of times where you don't want to take the camper because you're going so far off in the woods. We go some places like down in Arkansas and back into the woods where you can't pull a big camper. So uh, you either take some hammocks or a tent and put it on the ground. Well, the tent on the ground, you know how that is. So uh, what we got for the Gladiator now is a Napier Backroads truck tent. And that way we put this in on here we can take it anywhere we go it's small and compact fits right in the back of the truck and then uh we set it up we can stay in here we're not on the ground we're up off the ground protected by the truck even if it's you know raining we don't have to worry about that so we'll be well protected in the back of the gladiator so napier was good enough to send this over for me to check out review and install so today we're going to do a setup a video let's open this thing up and see what's inside Okay, we'll open up inside. This is the rain fly right there. Basically a cover for the top piece of range. You can put that on. It comes with a nice bag and it looks like the bag is actually big enough that you can put the tent back in it when you're done, which a lot of tent bags are not. And on here we have, on the inside of the tent bag, we have the instructions. So we'll probably use these instructions because we have not set up this tent yet. This is our first time. So it's got the instructions, tells you all what it comes with, and each step, what to do to set the thing up. Okay, so we're going to unfold the tent this way. Make sure that our door of the tent is toward the rear, toward the tailgate. You also want to make sure that your bed is clean, make sure you ain't got no rocks or anything that might poke a hole in the bottom of the tent. So we want to spread this forward. Back here, right there with the strap. Okay, this strap here on the front corner, we're gonna it's got a kind of a Y, so we'll spread it right there, run it down, and hook it under the bottom of the cab right there. The second strap we'll hook underneath the fender, or if we can find a place on the metal, we could do it on there, but that'll work for now. And then our and then our third strap, we'll hook it under the back side right here and do the same on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna take this strap and we put it down, raise the tailgate up a little bit so it'll go down through there. And then we're gonna put it down and behind the tailgate and behind the bumper. Now we'll pull the strap from the bottom and then snap them two together like so. We'll do all three of them the same way. I got my lovely wife helping me and that sure makes it handy. like so. Okay, so now we'll take our tent stakes out and assemble them. Our two black ones, the A stakes, they will go from corner to corner. Okay, then we'll feed the stakes up through here to the side. Be careful that it don't snag and tear your tent, your pocket. Now this will go into a pocket here in the corner. We'll lay the stakes out for right now. Okay, now we'll put this tent pole in this direction. Okay, then we're going to take our black poles at the front corner and we're going to put them into the pocket on both sides. Okay, now we're sticking the gray pole into this tailgate pocket. Okay, and then we're going to put the green pole goes up through the middle from front to back. And then it goes into pockets like she's doing right here. And there's a pocket on the rear and there's a pocket right up there on the front that she'll be putting it into. Make sure our tent stays positioned center when we push these up. That pocket. Here's the new pocket. Okay, now we got the four corners. We got the green one in. Now we just put our gray hole in. Keep this slid evenly. Make sure when nothing tears. We got that one in that pocket. Okay, then we go around and we just snap all of our 
little quick snaps on the side, snaps onto the poles, and it kind of holds everything up nice and neat. Okay, you want to pull the straps on the side, but you don't want to pull them so tight that you tear anything. So just good and snug, but not extremely tight. We'll pull these tight. They could actually be hooked under, maybe on the body a little further. <laughs> and the last one, these little things here are to protect so the buckle is not rubbing up against the paint on your vehicle and scratching it. Okay, now she's just tucking in the corners and tucking it all down in nice. So it fits down in there good. And the sides, if you'll notice here, the, the plastic tarp bottom comes over and it, so any of the rain will come off the tent and on the outside of the truck and nothing will come inside I can uh, see all the way around. Can. And actually, that is a good thing. She's standing up inside there. She's got to bend over just a little bit, which means I'll have to bend over a lot more, but she can stand inside there, so it's really tall. Okay, now she's installing the gear loft. So it hooks on all four corners. And then the kind of a carabiner looking carabiner looking hook hangs down through the middle of the hole in that gear loft. And so you can hang a light on that or whatever you want. And then in the gear loft, you can, it's a good place to keep your cell phones or anything that you want to store up above. So that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, here it is totally set up with the rain fly not on it. And as you can see, that gray actually looks pretty good with the granite Jeep Gladiator, the gray and green. So this thing is a well-built tent. It fits just perfectly on the Gladiator. All right, next step is we're gonna put on the rain fly. If it's hot in the summer, we wouldn't want it, but these cool fall evenings, we just put it where the napiers to the side. They go down and they clip on these on the side right here. And then this one will go right here. And this one will go down tight, I may have to adjust it a little bit. And then we got a longer one that actually goes down to the bottom, right down here. Okay, like so, right there. Okay, here's a good look of it. Of course, it's got the rain fly on it. So, it looks pretty good. The rain fly will totally cover it. Covers all the screens and everything. So, when it's raining or snowing, if you're out in it, at least you're not going to get wet. So, the, the gray color with the green actually looks extremely good. Okay, guys, this is home sweet home. We got our mattress in here, blanket, couple pillows, and you can see this is a mat that I actually had for the Jeep Wrangler, uh, made for the back of the Jeep Wrangler JKU, and it pretty much fits in here just perfect in the back of the Gladiator, so that's going to come in pretty handy. Okay, on the tent cover here, I was going to show you, it has uh, the different sizes. They make this thing in a lot of sizes to fit the full-size trucks to... Uh, Long beds, regular beds, full-size short bed, compact regular bed, and then compact short bed, which is this Gladiator five-foot bed. And you can see the model number right there is a 19066. So if you got a Jeep Gladiator, otherwise you can choose one of these models if you got a bigger truck. They also make a lot of other tents. And I hear rumors from people and watching the SEMA show that they're going to come out with a rooftop tent for the Jeep Gladiator. So that would be a super thing to check out in the future. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video. That was the uh, setup of the Napier Backroads truck tent for the Jeep Gladiator or for any small compact truck. We're going to make lots of other videos because we're going to do lots of camping. Maybe some this fall if it don't get too cold too fast and then for sure next summer. So stick around for the new videos and we'll show you some more of this tent while we're camping in it in the back of the truck. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the thumbs up. Check out below. I'll put a link to Napier's website and I'll also put a link to where you can pick this up on Amazon. So thank you all for watching. Right on. God bless. See you next time.